Academic activities are set to resume at the Federal University Oyeikiti eight weeks after it was shut down. A protest against lack of electricity turned violent after a face-off between the demonstrating students and the police. Two students died in that incident. TVC News Ayomide Ajegbe visited the school. The event of the Federal University Oyeikiti on 10th of December remains indelible. The results were ugly. Vehicles belonging to the convoy of the wife of the governor was in turn for a regular local government tower were damaged. Bonfires were mounted by students, an action that resulted to face up between them and police officers. This forced the school management to close down the institution. Weeks after the school has been reopened, and students are ready to complete the 2019-2020 academic session. Now they face new challenges. Me that I didn't go home now, I hardly get money to feed myself. Though my parents were like trying to tell me to come home, but I decided that even if I go home, I'll just be stranded at home. So why can't I remain here and be doing one or two things? It has really affected us. Most people are relaxed already. Mm. So to come back and start, you know, reading again for some tests, it's not easy. Right now we're preparing for, for another test. Kind of like slow down the academic process. Um, my exams um, were supposed to be like a week or begin to have our exams, but now I think we'll have to be like, we'll be rushed. Even as activities resumes, the school management insists student union activities remain banned. Um, now that we are resuming, the university management has decided to disproscribe them. Even as the union is disproscribed and union activity will commence, it is not going to be the ESCO that led us to that riot that will lead us again. But what lessons are to be learned by different parties in the crisis? We all came to a agreement that there should be peace on campus and that's our own value. What is in fact um, a national scourge and to some extent a continental malice, they decided to protest about it. Probably. If they had done it well, they would have been able to draw legitimate attention to their cause. Uh, but already the timetable is out, and uh, we hope that we will, we will drive on to a seamless um, uh, end of a uh, session. There are about 17,000 students at the Federal University of Yekiti, and as the 2019-2020 academic session is winding down, the students are asking questions as to how the academic program will run. And of course, there are questions still begging for answers, especially with the facilities that are available in this university. Ayomidia Jebe, TVC News, Oye